Uh, hi, my name is Eric Roberts. Um, I'm an associate professor of geology here at James Cook University and also the head of uh, Earth and Environmental Sciences. I'd say I early on was sort of into all different sciences and, and particularly biology early on. And then, um, you know, because geology isn't uh, taught in schools often, you rarely learn as much about geology uh, early on. And so it really wasn't until I got to university and I took my first geology course that I realized this was exactly what I wanted to do. So the way that um, really I got involved with the Rising Star Project um, is that I had worked at uh, Bits University in South Africa in Johannesburg previously and, and knew a lot of the paleoanthropologists in the region. And Paul Dirks and myself, uh, another colleague, were working uh, on a project uh, in the area. We were uh, invited by Lee Berger, the uh, lead, I suppose, on the Homo Naledi project, and he sort of let us know that, look, we found a, a new uh, fossil deposit, and uh, would you be, you know, would you be available to go down this cave and, and help us work on the geology? So this, what makes this uh, discovery really uh, exciting is that the fossils um, are in a really deep cave that's 30 meters underground and it's really inaccessible. So it requires um, a combination of rock climbing skills and caving skills to get into the chamber. The access into the chamber uh, requires a sort of a, a circuitous pass and at one point you have to get on your belly and put one arm in front of the other. Um, that's why it's referred to this passage as Superman crawl. So you're on your belly with your arm in front of you and you're wiggling through. So it's, it's not something that um, is, uh, is good if you're claustrophobic. The advice that I would give really is that if you're passionate about it and you're interested, uh, give it a try. Uh, we're just really in the golden age of paleontology, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, every year we discover more exciting uh, fossil sites than we've ever uh, discovered the year before or the year before. So we're just now sort of starting to reach the most, uh, the most exciting part of the fossil record, I would say.